Okay, everyone, I think we are live. Let's hope that we are live. Bring up the uh, screen now. Where are we? I've got a... Yeah, well, I hope the, this isn't the uh, sign of things to come. Welcome to Game Hammer Live Game Coding. Now, when we finished last week, the biggest issue that we had is that, my goodness, it... Uh, we ran out of memory on the computer. That was the big issue that we had. My goodness, we've got people in already. Hi, Anthony Dickinson. And uh, hi, Zach. Uh, my goodness. <laughs> so, hello. Uh, like I say, the last week we had a problem that the uh, the game was too big for the, for the memory, basically. So, let's, uh, let's just get straight into this and see how we can go from here. Uh, Anthony says, how's you? Uh, I'm doing fine, Anthony. How are you? So if I do the three-fingered salute for the uh, Amstrad here, control shift escape and come back to the uh, command prompt and just type in one command, print, free, zero. Hello, yellow belly in Hungary again. Can't stay long. Well, it's nice to see you, definitely. So what we've got here, print, free, and then in brackets, zero. That's the, com the Amstrad is crackling a lot tonight. I, I apologize if you end up with crackles. The issue that we've got with the Amstrad here is that we have print free memory 42,249 bytes that's how many okay that's crackling a lot tonight I apologize we're gonna have crackles hi Patrick 42,249 bytes that's all we have for memory so if we bring up the catalog uh, where are we uh, load Episode 1. Episode 1 is 36k in length. I'm really not happy with the way this is crackling, so I'm going to turn the speakers off because the uh, last thing I need is lots of crackles. So, let's see. There we are. Right, that should stop it. I don't know why it's cracking. We're not using any uh, sounds anyway. So, I've loaded in episode 1. If I print free memory now, 5,696k. That's how much is free before the game has been run. So we have to get the rest of this game and the ability to save into 5.6k. And I think we can't do that. So what I brought up, I printed out earlier on Marcus Homan from uh, Java CPC, the developer of the uh, emulator we're using to run this. He talked to me earlier on about how to get the code out. So this is the code. This is all the code that we've done. It's all 36k of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out the thanks page. Where is that gone? Here it is. Uh, thank you. There it is. So I'm going to take all of that and uh, copy that. Bring back Java CPC. Let's uh, reset the system. And using the edit thing, just paste that in. Okay. If I run that now, that's all that comes up. So, we're going to take that out of the main portion of the game, and this is going to be our loading screen. So, 10. Oh, hang on, first of all, edit line 216. I'm going to take CLS out. 10. Print. 10 locates, uh, let's say 6, 1. Print. Loading. Episode 1. Print. Print. Okay, let's run that. See how this goes. Yeah. No. We need to list again because... Aha! That's why. Edit 216. 16 of... Uh, 4. There are 3. Edit 217. Edit 218. Yeah. Edit, 219, yeah, this should work. 
Okay, we're taking the CLS out. So, yes, that should work. Edit 10. CLS. Run. Loading the Arbiter episode 1. There we are. And <laughs> no, we have a... No, no. Um, I've got an idea. List. Patrick says, I think you should have a CLS. Yes, uh, you're absolutely right. But if I put in uh, line 230, run episode 1, dot vas, that should work. So if I save this as disk, and I have catalog, right, so we have disk.bas. So if I save this now, yeah. Patrick's correct there where he's saying if you when you run episode one you don't need to worry about the ready prompt. So what I've just done, I've just saved it. So if I type in run now, this should work out fine. There we are. All of that comes up and then it loads in the actual game and runs it. So there we are. Now we don't have to worry about all of that. So if I print free again, we have uh, 4315. That's not a lot of memory. And uh Run it all again. If I press start, print free memory. 4150. Not a huge amount of space. So we are, we are really, really close to the edge here. So let's first of all pen 3 and list. So if I take out all of what we just had there, so where is the bit about, uh, yeah, line 100? Edit 100. Uh, pen thing to print, read the thanks page. So if I just take out that, so I can take out this look, all of that up to the Kate. String space full. It's because we ran it. It's okay. Load episode one. We can do this. It's okay. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine here. Right. Edit 100. If you hear knocking and banging, Jen is building her train set in the attic. That's what that is. So we can take all of this out to there. List 100 to 200. Where's the next bit? So we can add an edit 100 again. And we can take out another line now. And just move that back up a bit. And instead of 515, it would be 514 now. One three six we can take out entirely. And then just go back to listing again. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. We're going to go past the instructions bit. Uh, the thanks page is from 215 to 250. Okay, list 215 to 250. Okay, we're going to get rid of 215. 216, 217, 218, list 210 to 250. What have we got left? Not a lot. Okay. 219 we're getting rid of. 220, 221, 222. Patrick says, we could have had Dell 215 to 250. I wanted to make sure I got the ones that we needed, uh, Patrick. That's why I did it this way. So now it goes to 210, 250. So if we save episode one. It gets rid of a lot. Save that. Uh, catalog. We're still on 36K. However... Print free 
to zero. Six, five, three, four. So we have got extra space now. So that's a good thing. We're getting somewhere now. I'm just going to quickly pour myself a drink because already I'm getting dry mouth from talking in a room full of warm lights. So this is one of the interesting things about the old style computers. Because memory is so small in these computers, we really have to work at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, so we just saved that, haven't we? Yes, we have. Let's run. And we have an issue. We have uh, two L's to load a save game, so list 90 to 200. Ah, we didn't get rid of a hundred by a hundred and one. That gives us a little bit of extra, I think. Well, actually, it's gone down because we have to do the things we need to do. Uh, save episode one. And uh, save. Jen is not a secret agent, Anthony. And even if she was, I wouldn't tell you, and she wouldn't either. So just ignore that, because she's not a secret agent. Honest. Honest. Okay, now we've lost... There we are. Episode 1 is now 1K smaller. That might not seem like much, but in the scheme of things, we're going to uh, need all of that. So let's save the disk... And do the three fingered salute. Control Shift Escape. Print free memory. 42,249. Run episode one. It takes a little bit of time to load in because it is a large program. There we are. L to load a save game. So we're back now. Print free naught. 5217. We're doing okay. Neutrino Fire says, uh, what emulator are you using? This is Java CPC. In my opinion, it is the best CPC emulator you can get for the base original 464-664-6128. It's the best one you can get for those. If you want to use the Plus, it's still probably uh, WinApe, isn't it? The Windows Advanced Plus emulator. But uh, I can't use that. I'm on a Mac. So Java CPC is the one for me. So, now we're getting somewhere. Load episode one. Right, we need to we need to lose some more now. Um, the first thing I want to do as well is uh, we have an awful lot of statements in this original code that says uh, pen three at the start of pretty much every subroutine. Well, that's going to add up. So, if we list again and go down oh before i even do that let's do one more thing edit five in line five we've done an awful lot of uh, defining of functions uh of functions of sizes of arrays and things like that so i'm just making a mess there we have 27 rooms that we need so we've got uh, rooms set at 27 but we have a uh, number of uh, flags set at 20, which means we have an array that is essentially double the size that it needs to be. We've only set 10 flags. Now, I'm going to set it to 12 instead of 20 because I think we're going to need two more. So if we edit 5 and come down to where it says flag num equals 20 and change that to 12, that reduces the size of this flag's ar array, which means that we can save a bit of uh, memory just there. And it won't change anything. So, save episode one. Now, that won't change the file size, but it will change the amount of memory that has to be allocated. And that is a big thing. I hate it when it does that. Sorry, I've just reduced the size of uh, the screen there accidentally. Uh, Neutrino Fire says, would you be converting this to machine code? Um, I'm not planning to convert it to machine code. I am planning to compile it, 
We're going to try and run it through a uh, compile, a basic compiler. Yeah, Patrick's saying he's going to run it through a basic compiler, which is great because that'll speed everything up. It also means that uh, we'll probably end up having to uh, do change the uh, the disk uh, run disk uh, program that we just made at the start, but we can do that. That's not a problem. So uh, let's hope this works. So we've just reduced the amount of flags. So next thing we need to do is change the uh, pen system. We're going to do that to start the parser because uh, we keep doing well at the end of the parser. No, actually, at the start, that would be the, the best option. Do it at the start of the parser. Because we keep saying pen3 for all of the responses. So if we set pen3 at the start, when we're about to process what the player has input, then we don't have to set it everywhere else, which means we take memory back that way as well. It, this is going to be a little bit of, uh, essentially, just administration on the on the game. But it might work. Where are, no, we're still in the data, setting up all of the descriptions of all of the uh, items from the game. Hopefully we'll get through this. Where are we? Game loop. Almost there. Right. There we are. A string equals upper string, A string, print. Edit 3190. Pen 3. Okay, we've added that in. So now we need to have a look through all of this. Command F. Where have we got pen 3? So, let's go down. To, we've got 64 counts of pen 3. That's 64 counts of 4 bytes of code that we could take out in a lot of places. So it's not a huge amount, but every little helps right now. So let's go down to right three nine nine five is our first uh, our first instance. Okay, I'm just going to move my screen over to there a little bit, so you won't be able to see that, but I will. Okay, edit. 3995. We don't need that anymore. Edit 4005. Edit 4025. Taking out pen 3 again. Edit 4,026. Uh, 4,045. Okay, that's, that's a lot of uh, bytes already, but we're not finished. We're going to keep doing this until we've got all of them taken out. Okay, 9,080. We've had a lot of code here. This is a lot of code. We should have thought of this at the start as well, to be honest with you. Edit 10,091. Yep. Oh my goodness. 10,100. Hopefully, when we're taking all of these out, we won't have to put them back in because it turns out that uh, we've used another uh, line of code to change the. <laughs> it's just our luck, isn't it? Uh, we'll have changed the code, the pen to something else. But no, this, these are just error messages at the moment. Edit 10180. So. That shouldn't be an issue. Edit uh, 
Okay, I'm just going to quickly check the... Uh, PMC Retro Gamer says, uh, Hi, Zoe, it's good to see you back on YouTube after last week's YouTube. We did have a big YouTube fail. I couldn't believe that. YouTube just stopped working. It wouldn't stream anything. You could still you could still watch programs, but you couldn't upload and you couldn't live stream. Saying, what is going on, guys? Neutrino says, uh, how long are you streaming for? I'm going to watch this on my TV. Probably until about half past ten, maybe eleven o'clock. Depends on how... Uh, how much uh, we get through. So, yeah, probably until half ten, eleven o'clock tonight. My dog is now watching the video. Excellent. Every little helps there, there, there Anthony. Hi, Jen. Thanks for joining us. Uh, right, let's move this back over. I'm going to move my screen back over. So, what were we up to? 10220. Yeah. So, what next? 10225. Okay, that should be last there. What's next? One zero two two seven. Yep, pen three. One zero two three nine. Pen three. Yeah, these are all error messages. We should have thought of this before, but, you know, are you going to get through the game? Edit 10280. Right, where are we? 10290. Where is... Oh. And it's one zero three three zero. And it one zero three four. It's on. It's on almost every line in some of these things. It's no wonder we've used up so much memory. This is so wasteful. And it's one zero three five zero. And to think, the first time I started doing this live uh, coding, I thought we might be able to finish this in a, in a one session. I thought, yeah, right. I haven't finished one game in a coding session since I did that uh, quick uh, choose your own adventure system and that was only because I rushed it at the end. Right, where are the 390? Keep going, keep going, yeah. Edit 10465. Oh my goodness, 64 of these. Going. Edit one zero four seven zero. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Edit one zero four eight zero. Why is this a the entire thing's remarked out? Oh. Well, if it's remarked out, we didn't need it, so let's just delete that entire line. 10480, just delete that. Well, that saved us a little bit. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, right, so we're just taking out an entire line. That's okay, it saved us a bit, okay. 10480. One zero four nine zero and pen three. Yep. Go check in case there's more than one on the line as well. 
up to number 40 out of 64. We're doing this, we're getting there. 10491. Where are we up to now? 10499. Wow. We're going to get there. It just takes time. Time and patience is what programming's about. Uh, edit 10500. Six. So it's six bytes every time we're doing this. And there's 64 of them. That's it's not inconsiderable. One zero five one five next. Oh my goodness. Edit. One zero five two zero next. And it one zero five three zero. And it one zero five four five. One zero five five zero. I've probably not hit them all as well. If they're at that side of the screen, then I won't have seen them because the uh, Amstrad's over the top. But uh, we're getting there. We're, this is actually going to help a lot, I think. And at one zero five six zero. Edit uh, one zero. Eight one zero. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Come on, let's keep going. And it's uh, one zero eight two zero. And it one one zero one zero. Okay. Let's uh, quickly check these again. Okay, we've got 12 left to go under this. 11105. One, one, oh, we're getting there now. Edit uh, 11160. Edit 11215. Edit 11270. That, that was ridiculously wasteful there. The two that we've just two sets we've just done there, the save code and the load code. Turn the pen to three at the start of the save uh, or load routine and at the end of the save and load routine. So we should have really caught that earlier, but never mind. Right, where are we? 11310. Zero. Zero. Right, here's one that we can't change. It says, are you sure? Press, and then we change the colour of the pen, and then change it back. That one we can leave. Well, we took the one off the front because we didn't need it. Edit 12010. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, I keep pressing enter. 12010. Zero, zero. That might be it. Nope, 59 out of 64. Five left. Okay. Might we have it? Right, 
I'm going to leave the one on uh, this one here. The 12240. I'm going to leave that one there. Isn't line 10820 a repeat? Says Patrick. Um, yes, technically, Patrick, uh, line 10820 is a repeat. We've got to, and I don't understand that. I mean, we've had an I don't understand that earlier on, but this one is in response to a certain thing, so we need that to catch a response when um, we're trying to put something into the circuit, but it doesn't work. So, yeah, I'd love to be able to check that one out, but we can't, unfortunately. So, this one here, 12240, we've got to leave because we keep changing the colours inside uh, this bit here, the circuit diagram. That may actually come out. We're not. I'm not convinced that we need that. But for the moment, we can leave it. So, next one is uh, edit 12310. We could remove the circuit diagram and just have a description in place. It would save an awful lot of code and therefore an awful lot of memory. But it does look kind of nice. And if I don't have to get rid of it, I won't. 12410. Because let's just leave it there. Let's get this one. That may be the last. No, we've got two more. Okay, the terminals. Edit. 13010. Pen 3. Yeah. And edit 13530. Okay, we're down in the dealing with the terminal for the transport now, so uh, there is one thing somewhere around here, isn't there? There was one thing in the code that we put in um, that I remember at the time we said we probably won't need it. And that was uh, the possibility that you would enter the wrong coordinate, or try and enter coordinates when you're not in the room. Entering coordinates into the terminal. And uh, it's not actually possible to do that. So if I could remember where that was, we could get rid of that. But I cannot remember where that is. So we'll leave it for the moment and... Uh, Hopefully this will all sort itself out. Jennifer's asking, how is it going? It's going quite well. So, save episode one. Now, we were at 36k when we started. Catalog. We're now at 35k. Save. Do you have not? Save. And do a hard reset. Print free memory. 4249, which is exactly what we want. Load episode one. Print free. 6856. We have almost uh, 2k extra. We should be okay now. So, where were we up to? Let's run the game. Let's play the game from the start. We're going to have to do that anyway because we can't load a save game. I've changed the number of, um, what's the word? Flags. <laughs> we changed the number of flags down from 20 to 12. We only actually have 10 flags set, but we need we might need two more, so I'll put that in. So let's start the game. And while we're going through, we'll uh, be able to test what everything looks like. So, if we go down, the colours are looking right. Get core. Get multi tool. Exam multi tool. Spell it right this time. It's all looking right. So 
search wreckage. Got crowbar. Use multi tool on wires. <laughs> Oh. Okay, now now we know what that was. One zero four eight zero. What was that? One zero four eight zero. Uh well at least we know that we do actually need it. Oh. Alright. Um one zero four eight zero doesn't actually do anything. But apparently we need it. Because we start there and go to 10490. So let's have a look at what this code actually is that we've got here. If left string equals core and right string equals housing, then go to 10490. Else go to 10480. But we never did anything with 10480. So, so what is this from? What is this? It's the use code. Okay. All right, so why don't we just take that out? Take the entire if check out. One zero four six one. Oh dear, let's have a look. It's just an entire set of checks for core. Yeah, this is all about the core. So if we go down to core. Keeps talking about the core, keeps talking about the core. Keeps talking about the core. So the next one is uh, 10510. So that would be the multi tool one. So if we change this to 10. Yeah, if we change this to 10510, that jumps past the core bit. So. Well, we don't actually need it. No. We're going to put it to 10490. Since that's where it was running to anyway. String space. In fact, 10461. There was an if check that was essentially doing very, very little. Jason Plevin uh, says, what machine are you coding on? This is an Amstrad CPC 6128. I think we can take out the entirety of line 10461. So I'm just going to write that down. One zero four six one. I'm just going to remove it. 10461. String space full. Okay, we can't do that. So let's do a three fingered salute. Load episode one. Just load it back in and take out 10461. We're still having problems with the uh, machine space. 10461. We're just going to take that out and save episode one. That's an entire line of code that uh, didn't really do anything because it was an if check that was sent, essentially sending either to one line or to a remark line that was just above it. So essentially we were going to the same place. So we're taking that out. How much space are we taking up now? Still on 35k, but that will have freed up a little bit. Save. Now what I want to do now is um, run run episode one. I'm going to do a quick test. Wait. No, we still need to do this. We still need to run it. Uh, start the game. Okay. Print. Uh, print OBJ POS percent Let's say 12. It's, that's minus 9. If I type in clear, 
and then print OBJPOS percent 12. Has that changed what's in our arrays? Subscript out of range. So it has. So we can't do that. We can't we can't keep clearing the memory and hoping that we can just overwrite it. So that's a bit uh, that would have been nice if we could, but we can't. So okay, we can we, we can keep going, it's fine. Print free memory. How oh, how much free memory? Five 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 five. five. Run. Print free memory. Five 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 six two. Bit different. Every time we're getting a bit different. So that's an oddity as well. We're gonna have to worry about that later on. Um, run episode one. We need to see how things are going. Okay, let's start the game and go through and see how it goes. So we go uh, down because we need to get the core. We get the multi tool and we actually spell it correctly. Go up, east, ouch, southwest, and we search the wreckage. Actually, let's say, check the wreckage. Yep, all the colors are correct so far. Search, wreckage, excellent. Use multi-tool on wires. Line just, just one here, four, six, zero. Okay, one zero four six one. What was one zero four six one? Oh, just knocking over my bin. Um, if left string is crowbar and right string equals hatch, then go to one zero four six five. Else go to one zero four six one. So we do need one zero four six one after all. Hang on, hang on. We... Why did we get rid of 461? That's the wrong one. No, it isn't. Okay. Oh, we can just get rid of that. We can change 10460 to 1... Uh, to 10490. Okay, that's okay. Since that's where it was going anyway. <laughs> Clear the memory. Edit uh, 10460. Okay, we just changed that. Save episode 1. We're still having massive amounts of trouble. Okay, file, drive, diff mode. Save that. Print free memory. 6920. Let's hope this works. That We're getting there. It's it's difficult. Load a save game. Yeah, and that's, that's all working so far. That's not going to load properly, but it's working so far. Yeah, in the file map. Okay, let's run it again. Start the game. So we go down. Get multi tool. Get core. Up. East. Out. Southwest. Search. Wreckage. West. And let's save. Oh, there is test. So we're saving now because we keep failing at this point. So, use multi-tool on wires. I repaired the wires using the multi-tool. Use crowbar on hatch. Crowbar is fine. Use multi-tool on wires. Repaired the wires. So far, so good. Let's go down. Yeah, but everything's fine. Save. Test. 
and everything's looking right. The colors are all all right. Uh, Jason saying, "What are you coding? A text adventure?" Yes, we are. We have our first issue with the colors when we save. Uh, no, Jason, uh, we're making this text adventure, and I'm playing it to test it because we've made some changes to try and free up some memory. So, uh, just quick notes. Uh, need to actually. Where's my post-it? There they are. Saved. Message in wrong color. We'll edit that later on. So, uh, exam housing. Yeah, get junk. Drop junk. Put core in housing. Yep, everything's working out there. Look. Exam indicator. Fault indicator, blah, blah, blah. Everything's working there. Okay, south and east. Get box. Exam box. Yep, we're doing okay there. In the computer room, let's save again. Save as test. We're going all right now. Exam circuit. Since we know it's there. Get burned. This is a bit that seems to be burned into my brain now because we've done so much resistor from circuit. Drop burned resistor. Get charred. Resistor from circuit drop charred resistor get fried resistor from circuit drop fried no drop fried resistor if you can hear the banging there that is my next door neighbour okay what's in the inventory exam box Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Get green resistor from box. Oh, hello. Hello everybody, I come bearing gifts of Vianetta. And if you can reach down the cable, you can have a slice as well. You're, What's shouting, that? you're shouting in my ear. Okay, the, the circuit all works, uh, save. Do you want this? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Anthony is saying, is GAC any good? Graphic Adventure Creator. I love that program. I made See you later. so many, thank you very much, Jen. I made so many games using Graphic Adventure Creator, and if I could find the old cassettes, I might even show you show you them. They're not very good. They're full of spelling errors, and none of them is logical, and they're all really a bit naff, but it'd be nice to see them. In fact, on Game Hammer one day as a Game Hammer Extra, I might even take a look at them if I can find them. I'm pretty sure I still have some in my stock tips. I used to have... Uh, C90s and all sorts that were just piled up next to my Amstrad and I called them stock tapes for my PD library, they were the stock and I have a horrible feeling that I'm the only person who has any of these games so we'll just say, we've got the computer working uh, Anthony's talking about eBay oh, talking of eBay um, there was a listing today for about six of the, you know those old big box Amstrad, uh, Amsoft uh, boxes where it was a binder with the instruction manual and all sorts, plus some cassettes? Well, there were six of them on eBay today, and uh, I put in a bid, and I got outbid after about two hours, so I put in another bid, just before the, uh, the timer went down. I got outbid again, and then it went from 10 quid to 30 quid for this set 
So I thought at that point, it's like, nah, there's someone seriously wants this stuff. So I didn't end up getting it, but so disappointed. Uh, it was, it would have been nice to have a look at those for CPC when we do the Amstrad documentaries. But there we are. So Jen's given me a Vianetta, and I'm just going to have a, a few bites of this before we go on. Okay, so we've just, um, we just got the computer working again. So exam machine, because that's the same thing as the computer. Uh, the exposed circuitry was f fixed and functioning correctly. A message indicator was uh, flashing on the screen. Exam message. So it says, uh, everything's in the right colours. <laughs> Cartman, you were also bidding on them. <laughs> so you're the reason that uh, I couldn't have got a, a right bargain there. Could have had them for 10 quid, Cartman. <laughs> oh, I went up to 30. What can I say? Hi, TVGC77. Oh, we could have... Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. I can still uh, talk about them on CPC because uh, I think the manuals are all on uh, CPC Wiki these days. But never mind. So, we have a set of coordinates. Which I've got written down. So I don't need to write them down again. Oh, you only bid up to 15. Well, you still outbid me, Carmen. <laughs> I looked at it when I went went up to 10 and thought, I can't keep going with this. I'll end up with red mist to send. And it'll be like 200 quid. And I don't, I don't think they're worth that. So whoever got them for 30, well, I think you still got a decent uh, deal, to be honest with you. Right, exam terminal. Computer to input space time coordinates. So input actually let's save at this point just in case. Okay. Uh right, so okay. Input. Which time space coordinates? Uh ten dash zero dash eleven dash zero zero colon zero two. Please step into the transport cubicle. Uh, we can go in. So, we're now on the ship in the future, or is it the past? No, it is the past, yes. We've gone back in time a little bit. So, we're now in the past, on the spaceship. And it's the working spaceship, so we go forward into the computer room exam com computer warning incoming asteroid engage maneuvering thrusters immediately i could not see a computer <laughs> we need to sort that out Okay, Jen is watching Jurassic Park, so, and I can hear it, so I'm just going to close that door. Okay, so I've made a note that we need to sort out the fact that uh, we've got I could not see a computer as an error message while we're looking at the computer. So, uh... Right, uh, so we need to engage maneuvering, th maneuvering thrusters. Let's have a look at this room. This is as far as we got last time. So we're going to save at this point. We'll save test. So, uh, rows of terminals. So, computer control room, rows of terminals. So, this isn't the room that we're going to need to be in to uh, engage the thrusters. But, to be honest with you, I think we should be able to have an error message here that will tell us we're not in the right room. So, that's, we should do that. Where's my map of the other room? The... Okay. We need to go to the engine room to sort this out. So, we have a, the map. Actually, you can't really see it. 
we have the map and we need to go to the uh, I think it's up here the, the engine room and that is uh, where we need to be so if we go back to the game we need to go south clicking it and through the corridors into the engine room uh, listen, I was in the engine room where the station's manoeuvring thrusters were controlled by a computer in the middle of the room. Exam computer. I cannot see a computer. This, this is where we, we have it. This is where we got up to. So we need to be able to uh, engage thrusters. And that was uh, the reason we needed another flag. Although, actually, we've got it here. Man Manoeuvring thruster working. So, this is where we got up to. So, what we need to do now is uh, break. Clear the memory of all the variables. Print free. Zero. Yeah, we've got it. We're fine. So, pen three. First of all, let's sort out the uh, problem with the saved message being in the wrong colour. Where is the code for saving? It is one zero one one zero nine nine to uh, one one two zero zero. Okay, edit one 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 six zero pen three. So. Oh, we did need that one, on the, so we'll need it on the load code as well. List one one two zero zero two one two. No one one. One three zero zero. Added one one two seven zero, pen three. So that's sorted. Yeah. Save that. So that's sorted out. Just broken my pen. There we are, fixed it. I'm fixing errors left, right, and centre here. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Okay, uh, save. So we need to be able to engage, don't we? So we're going to have an engage command. And I need to know how far down this code goes. Uh, so we go up to one three five seven zero. So one three six zero zero will be the engage code. One three six zero zero RAM engage code. One Six one zero. If current room percent equals eighteen, then print or current room percent equals four. Just the future proof and print. I could not engage the thrusters from the computer room. Go to 3180. Edit 13610. We need an else on the end of that, otherwise it won't keep going. Else. 13. One three six two zero. If current room percent equals uh, nineteen and flags percent ten equals zero, then print the engaged 
warning on the computer stated thruster error check um I've forgotten the word. Oh my goodness, because I'm tired, I've forgotten the word. What I'm trying to say is the thruster can't be engaged because it can't be turned. So what would be the uh, word for the device that turn it? Because I want to be able to use the crowbar again to get something to move. It's stuck, basically. The, uh, the turning mechanism is stuck. Mechanism. There we are. Check. Mechanism. Else. One three six three zero if current room percent equals nineteen and flags percent ten equals one then flags percent eleven equals one print I engaged the thrusters. Station rumbled gently as it began to move out of the way of the asteroid. Go to three one eight zero. Edit one three six two zero because that is needed as well. On here. Right. Okay. I think that's all we need. Edit one three six three zero. Else. Just do that. <laughs> Actually, one three six three zero. Let's save a little bit of memory. Else, just go to three one eight zero. Just trying to get a catch all there. One three six four zero. Uh, Patrick says you forgot a. Oh, I forgot. Right. Yeah, you're right. Edit one three six two zero. Yeah, we need a quick uh, little uh, apostrophe there. Okay, save episode one. Okay. Quickly have a bit of uh, Vienna. Patrick saying, I know you're keen to save bytes, but that one can't be skipped. Yeah, you're right, it, it, it wouldn't work otherwise. Okay, so we've just done the computer room. Uh, yeah. Okay, we need to change. So... How do we tell the uh, the arbiter that uh, she's just saved the station? Um. Oh, of course, yeah. We've got a, a flag for that, haven't we? Yes. So. No, we haven't because we haven't used. Right, we need to. We need to do one, a couple of things now. We need to add in the engage command, otherwise we. Can... 
I can't do this. So we need to go to the parser, which is at 3190, 3190 to 4000. Okay. Three four zero zero if left string a string or whatever equals engage one two three four five six. Yep. Actually if just a string I'm gonna put in a little joke. If left string if a string equals engage, then print I am not Captain Picard. Go to three one eight zero. Three four one zero. If a string if left string a string actually no we don't need that either. If a string equals engage thrusters or a string equals engage thruster, then go to and that is one three six zero zero. Else, okay. We'll just add that in. Save episode one. I can. I just like doing that thing. So why not? And the only time this will actually go to that code that we just done is if I actually have typed engage thrusters or engage thruster. So we have some code for examining the computer. We have a response given an error message. Ginny Vision says, is this basic 1.0 or 1.1? This is basic 1.1. Ginny, I've uh, used specifically used uh, basic 1.1 on the 6128 because it has the smallest amount of uh, available RAM for basic. I want it to run on all three, uh, well, all five uh, CPCs, if we include the pluses, uh, but uh, 464, 664, and 6128, I wanted to run on those, so I've used the 6128 because it has the least amount of memory. If I can fit it into this, it'll run on all of them. That's the plan, anyway. So, we need to find the um, the code for examining the computer, because I have a feeling that we need that. So I need to quickly add in one extra flag on my notes. Flag 11. Station has moved. But we also need to uh, put in the code, don't we, for um, sorting the mechanism. So we need to we need two things. We need the code for the computer. We need the code for sorting the mechanism out. Let's do the mechanism first. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. So, uh, use crowbar on mechanism. So we need the use code. Let's the use code. 10449 to 10800. List 10449 to 10800. Uh, Victor is saying, is the spaceship already flying? Yes. The spaceship is in deep space. It's actually monitoring time and space in deep space, but an asteroid is flying toward it, and that's the problem. So, where are we on this? Probably don't have a huge amount of space to put this in. We do have a huge amount of space to put this in. That's fine, then. Yeah. No, we don't. We can do this. Five five zero to five six zero. Okay. Though you can't smash the crop. Do you, Victor? As funny as that would be, we can't have our uh, spacefaring badass standing on top of the space station, smacking at an asteroid with a crowbar. As fun as that would be, that's not how we're doing it. Instead, she's going to maneuver the thrusters manually using a crowbar. So. Uh, one zero five 
five one if left string b string comma how much uh, equals crow bar one two three four five six seven seven and right string of b string comma however many we'll get in a moment equals mechanism one two three four five six seven eight nine Then go to one zero five five two else go to one zero five six zero. Uh Anthony says, how about episode two? Episode two is gonna be fun. I've already got plans for episode two. And the plan is that the arbiter lands on the planet of the giants because she's low on fuel. And has to find something to that will help power her ship to get home on a land of giants. I think that'll be fun. Okay, one zero five five two. So if uh, if the from what we just typed in there, if left string b string equals seven is crowbar, and right string of b string nine spaces is mechanism so basically if if the player is typed use crowbar on mechanism then we go on to the next bit and that's the check so if uh, we're going to do a check now if flags percent 10 equals 1 then print I already moved the thrusters I don't. I didn't want to get them out of alignment. Go to 3180, else go to 10553. Oh, actually, we can just uh, uh, go else. So 10553. So. Flags percent ten equals one. That's what we need. Print. I jammed the crow bar into the mechanism and pushed down with all my might. The fused to budge at first, but I kept pushing and eventually. It sprang. No, I'm okay, thanks. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go and choke some down. Okay. Hello, everybody. That's my other half. Bye, Jen. Bye. Okay, so now we've set that off. Uh, jammed the crowbar into the mechanism. Blah, blah, blah. So. So now we've uh, done that, and that's good. So let's save at this point. Save episode one. We're so close to finishing this game now. Second mechanism is a typo system. Where? Oh! One zero. F <laughs> at least we're finding this at this point. This is because Jen kept uh, distracting me with Vionetta. I, I drop H's when Vionetta's around. That's my excuse. Save episode one. Okay, let's hope this works. Uh, save on the thing. Yeah, save. Uh, catalog. We're back up to 36k. We're running out of space again. Print free memory. We are so close to running out of memory. We've got under 6k now. Oh my goodness. Let me have some Vianetta before I go on. Am I 
makes me wonder. Can we actually do this today? Can we finish this? Let's hope so. Um, right. Run. Chini's brought up a good point there. Uh, nice feature of Amstos, your previous uh, BAS file is saved as .bak. This is very true. And it is a nice feature. It keeps everything nice and makes... It's a safety precaution. Of course, I've just overridden my previous uh, back file by uh, saving uh, the spelling uh, change. So hopefully we haven't done anything too bad. Uh, let's load in our test. Oh, dear. Where are we? So... We're in the computer control room. Engage. I'm not Captain Picard. Engage thrusters. Oh. It's not doing anything. Right, we have an issue. I will be back in a moment because uh, while I'm thinking about what to do with that, I'm going to make a cup of tea because I think I need one. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be back very shortly. Back in a moment. Jan, do you need a cup of tea? I'm making a cup of tea. Do you want one?
Right, let's get this done. Quick, someone switch your PC. Anthony, I can see that. Okay, I've been thinking about... Uh, been thinking about what we can do. So, print current room percent 18. So we know that we know that we're in the correct room. List. Uh, Victor says this is some sl slow tea heater. You know why I was slow to get my cup of tea? Because my life is a text adventure. I went to, into the kitchen where the kettle should be to find there was no kettle because my wife had decided that she needed to use it for her model railway stuff. Getting some uh, parts up off an old model railway to move on to a new one required some hot water and steam. So she moved the kettle, boiled, her, boiled some water, then moved the kettle into the conservatory. So I had to go and get it. Uh, Jason's saying, uh, is this basic language or DOS? Because the abstract had CPM as well, didn't it? It's basic. It's locomotive basic, which is a very good, uh, fast version of basic. Not entirely Microsoft compatible, so it's not compatible with uh, everything. But uh, it, for the most part, this should be reasonably uh, easily convertible to the Spectrum. Or probably to the BBC as well. But uh, yeah, so I've just done the print current run percent, which is the uh, marker in the game for where we are in the game. So we know that that's in the correct run. So what we've got is an error, and I don't know why. So we're going to list the engage code. Well, that won't work, will it? I've got the notes wrong. One, three, six, zero, zero. So let's just list the uh, parser again. I have a horrible feeling here. Three, one, eight, zero to four thousand. Uh, where are we? Where's the engage code? Okay, one, three, six, zero, zero, zero. Yeah, that's where it should be. Uh, hmm. A string equals engage thrusters or a string equals engage thruster. That's what we were doing. So one list one three six zero 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 to I don't know uh, fifteen thousand I don't know. Okay, where are we? Uh, come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we've got a major error here for a start. And line 13,610. If current room is 18 or current room is 4, then print, I could not engage the thrusters from the computer room. So, we were in the computer room, and we did not get that message. Which means, we haven't engaged this uh, this branch of the code. Let's run that again and see what happens. Load. Test. Right, we're in the computer control room. Engage thrusters. Blank. Engage thruster. Blank. But we are getting a missed line. So what's happening here? What is going on? Print A string. Print B string. Blank. And we're back at 3180, which means a line 3180 is the start of the parser. It's what uh, we go back to when we get the what now prompt. So the computer has engaged something. So let's list 13600 to 15,000. 
So the first thing we should do is uh, 13601 print hello. Oh, of course it is. I'll clear the memory. 13601 print hello. Run. Okay, load, save game. Save game. Come on. Our name is test. Engage gives I'm not having card. Engage thrusters. Hello. Right. So we know that it is going to the right place. Print free memory. Four three seven zero. We don't have much to play on here. We don't have much at all. So we, first thing we can do is get one. Rid of that hello line one three six zero one. Oh, for goodness sake! Dangerously close to the uh, maximum memory here. So, uh, we are not getting any message. So, the first if check is coming back uh, correct. I would assume if current run percent equals eighteen or current run percent equals four, then print blah blah blah. Why isn't it? Why isn't it printing? We've got to print on hello, so we know what we're in. This we're in room eighteen because if I type in print current run percent, it will bring back zero because I've cleared the memory. But uh, before it was printing uh, eighteen, so I could not engage the thrusters from from the, from the computer room. Should be coming up. But it isn't. Okay. Then we'll go to the check of if current room is 19. Nothing's coming up there either. So then we go on to the next one about current room 19. And then it's saying go to 3180. So I'm going to change. Jason's saying, is this only a 464? No, this is a 6128. The 464, the 664 and the 6128 are all compatible with one another, as uh, you probably already know. I'm running this on a. I'm programming this on a six one two eight because the six one two eight has slightly less available memory than the other two computers due to the extensions in, in the uh, the ROM and things like that. So if anything can fit into the memory into the first sixty four k block of a, a six one two eight, then it'll run on the four six four and the six one two eight. Patrick saying he's running it on a six one two eight plus and it works. That's good news. So. Basically, if we can get it to run on this, then it'll run on everything. So, we've got an issue here where I need to find out where we're up to. So, I'm going to add in on 13630 an extra thing. Edit 13630. Instead of just else go to 3180, we're going to print hello and then go to 3180. So load in again. Test. Load it. Engage. Thrusters. Hello. Right. Now we know what's going on. Print current room percent. 18. Clear. So we know that uh, this entire routine is going from engage code on one line 13,600 right the way down to 13,630 before it does anything. Everything is coming back wrong. So edit for the first thing, 13610. If current run percent is less than or greater than 19, That will cut back a bit of memory use as well. So, if the current room is not room 19, which is the on our map that we have earlier on, it's the engine room, then 
print, I could not engage the thrusters from here and go to 3180, else. Then the next check, if the current rum is 19 and the flag is 10, and, and flag 10 equals 0, then print the thrusters could not be engaged. But flag 10 should be 0, because it always is. Unless we've set it, which we haven't. We have not set flag 10. Then it should be telling us the thrusters could not be engaged. And then if it, they are engaged, then do all the blah, blah, blah. So. Okay, let's run that. See what happens. I don't think this is going to change anything, but we'll just see. Engage thrusters. I could not engage the thrusters from here. Right, we're getting somewhere now. So let's go south and east and north in the com in the engine room. Engage thrusters. I could not engage the thrusters from here. Yes, you can, because you're in the right room. Oh, oh my goodness. My. Print current room percent. 19. We're in the correct room. So list 13600 to 15,000. Oh, for goodness sake. One, from edit 13610. Current room, but, oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> Clear the memory, edit 13610. Current has two R's. Oh, hang on, we don't want to save yet. I have to take that hello check out. Edit 13630. Let's take that out there. Save episode one. I can't believe this. Of course all the errors were coming back wrong because we'd misspelt current room. This is what happens when you're coding at half past nine on a Sunday night. Okay, run. This should work now. This should work. Did I just save? Pretty sure I did. I'll just save it anyway. Load. Test. Okay. Engage thrusters. Could not engage the thrusters from here because we're in the computer room. Right, we're outside the engine room now. Engage thrusters. Could not engage the thrusters from here. Excellent. It's all working. So, engage thrusters. The thrusters could not be engaged. A warning on the computer stated thruster error check mechanism. So now everything's working. Use crowbar on mechanism. Sorry, I did not understand. Interesting. Should have worked. Pen three, because we've already changed the use code, haven't we? I thought we had. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the use code again. List one zero. Four four nine two one zero eight zero zero. Let's go down there. <laughs> That's Right, so we need list 10500 to 10600. Where are we here? Yeah. 
There it is. Edit one zero five three zero. No, yeah, we need one zero five three zero. Let's list that again. Where do we start? Where do we start with this stuff? Right. Edit one zero five three zero. No. Yeah, that's it. What we've got here is something that's just jumping over our new code. 552 is what we need there instead. Cost it is clear memory. Edit 10540. We need that to change to 552. Otherwise, we're jumping over all of the stuff we've done before. Save episode 1. Right, that should do it. Right. Save that. Right. We should be able to uh, sort this out now. Okay, hopefully this is all going to work out nicely and we'll be able to save the day, blah, 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 blah. There are things that we need to fix and uh, tidy up after we've done this, but uh, as long as we can get the game to work itself, then that would be useful. East, north... Use crowbar on mechanism. Sorry, I did not understand. Exam mechanism. I could not see a mechanism. We need to sort that out as well. Where is, where's my uh, to-do list? We need, to, we need to be able to uh, get a message if we examine the mechanism to find out whether it's uh, damaged or not, which is a simple thing. Just a flag check with a different uh, thing to print. Yeah, right, so... Uh, So, why can't we use the crowbar? We've, we've put the code in, and now it's saying I did not understand. Use bar on mechanism. Sorry, I did not understand. So we have a problem with the uh, use code. So let's have a look at this again. 10500 to 10600. That's where our code is. Somewhere in here. There it is. Okay. Oh! One zero five four zero. Send it the wrong line. One zero five five one. For goodness sake! Keep forgetting! Uh, edit one zero five four zero. We need to go to five five one, not five five two. Okay, this should work. Is everyone still there, by the way? Yeah, is the, uh, the live stream still working? Load. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Test. Okay, let's go south. Use crow bar on mechanism. Sorry, I did not understand. Sorry, I did not understand. So, we have an issue here as well now. That's okay, we can sort this, we can sort this. Jan? Yeah? Can you quickly check the live stream? Uh, give me a moment on the phone. Well, wow, I'm not entirely sure. Right, so, we have an issue with... 
Oh, Patrick says it's working. Thanks, Patrick. I do worry sometimes, especially after last week when YouTube just messed everything up. So we have an issue. When we're using the crowbar, it's not doing anything. It's supposed to, so I did not understand. So, right. Are we just jumping over code again? Clear. Pen three. List one zero five zero zero two one zero six zero zero. Oh, I see why. Okay. Edit one zero five one zero. That should be five four zero, not five three zero, because otherwise it's printing there. Sorry, I don't understand. It's not going anywhere else. Uh, see you later, Jason. Thanks for coming along. It's much appreciated. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a bit weird, but we're, we're getting somewhere now. Right, this should work now. Edit 10550. List one zero five one zero for start. So, if I keep uh, just quickly going through all of this and find. List 10530. We don't even need 10530, do we? Okay, quickly do 10530. Two responses. We've already changed 515, 10510. So if we get rid of 10530, we don't actually need it. That saves up a bit of space as well. So save episode 1. That was a duplicated line. We didn't need it because we've moved on. So, uh, yeah. That should help. And then we should be able to use the um, mechanism now. Load. Thinking yes, use crowbar on mechanism. Sorry, I didn't understand. This is very annoying. Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, we have a. We can't finish the game without this working. It's just as simple as that. I'm just quickly checking through all of this uh, code here to make sure that we don't have any other problems. <sighs> 
This is... I just don't get it. Why is it not doing it? Why? Okay, let's do a quick check. Edit 10551. Print. Hello. String space full, of course it is. Uh, edit 10551. Print. Hello. Are we even getting to this point? That is the question. That's the question that we have at the moment. Load. Test. Use crowbar on mechanism. Hello. Sorry, I did not understand. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. So, we are in the right part, and we are getting to the part we need to be. So. Let's have a quick look at everything. Yeah. Print flags percent ten is zero. Right. Edit first of all clear. Now print B string. B string is blank. Did I clear everything? Go try again. Did I did I clear everything? Oh my goodness. Load. We're getting somewhere. Oh my goodness, test. Okay, use crowbar on mechanism. Hello, sorry, I did not understand. Print B string. B string is blank. Why is B string blank? Because it won't work if B string is blank. List from the start of the use code. It's one zero four four nine to sixteen thousand. Okay, no point if we defined B string, apparently. Sure we have though. And then the parser. Three one nine zero to four thousand. We must have. How on earth what? List one zero four five zero two one zero five zero zero. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if there's any of this code work, guys. How is any of this code working? We haven't defined B string at all. We've defined B string in uh, open, in the open code at the 10370. <laughs> oh my goodness. How on earth have we ma How on earth have we managed to do anything? Start the game. How on earth have we managed to do anything at all? Search wreckage. Use crowbar 
on hatch. It's okay, guys. I've worked it out. List one five zero 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 to one no one zero five zero zero to one zero six zero zero. Where are we? We're looking at the wrong amount of code. Yeah, here we are. Right. Edit one zero five for, for start clear. Edit one zero five five one. We can't use B string because we haven't defined B string. That's fine. That's A string. That's what we're looking at here. Edit one zero five five two. Ten. Edit one zero five five three. No, not two. Uh, edit one zero five five three. Yeah. Yeah, we have it one zero five. <laughs> Just forgot to put in a quick check to make sure we're in the right room. If current room percent equals 19, then else. Edit one zero five five four. List one zero five five zero to one zero six zero zero. Okay, one zero five five four. If current room percent less than or greater than nineteen, then print. I could not see a mechanism. Go to three one eight zero. Right, then the only point, yeah, that should work. What I've just done there is put in a current room check. We need to know that we're in the right room. If we're not, then we can't use the mechanism. We can't uh, jam use the crowbar on the mechanism. Okay, um, run. Let's quickly check that. Hopefully this will work this time. Yeah. Use crowbar on mechanism. Sorry, I did not understand. This is not good news. This is not... No. Why is it still not working? Use crowbar on mechanism. Okay, we're getting I did not uh, understand. Why are we getting I did not understand instead of the use command? We should be getting a use command. Before, when we were doing the, the use command, it was giving us the right uh, response, but now it's not. So it's going through every single part of this. Crowbar and right mechanism go to do this, go to one zero five six zero. So print a string. Exam computer. Which is correct, this is what it should be. Guys, I, I I'm really stuck on this one. I don't A string equals exa uh, use crow bar on of 
course it is. Oh. Yes. Edit 10550. Nothing will work the way we've got it set up. Else a string equals right string of a string comma length of a string minus four. Okay, well okay what I'm just doing here edit one zero five five zero What I'm quickly doing here is bodging something. The reason our code wasn't working is uh, we've entered use crowbar on mechanism. But in the use command, we are checking for only crowbar and mechanism. But when we check crowbar, what we're actually getting the response of is use crowbar. So they're not coming back correct. So it's not running the code. So I'm just doing here with uh, a string equals right string, a string comma length of a string minus four is taking use and space off the front of use crowbar or mechanism. So we just have crowbar and mechanism. We save now. This quick bodge should work out fine for us. Quickly save this on the hard drive run. So, what we should have now is uh, code that works properly. I hope so, anyway. PCM Retro Gamer says, can see you fine from here. Thank you very much. Use crow bar on mechanism. Sorry, I didn't... No! <laughs> no! No, that's not what I... Right, so it hasn't worked. We need this to work. This is so close to the end of the game. Print a string. Use crowbar on mechanism. One five six. Of course it won't work. Edit 10550. Take that bit out again. That will not work here. I got it wrong. I need to change it. 10550. Put this in the wrong place. Edit 10551. This is where we need to put it. A string equals right string a string comma length of a string minus four right that should sort this out because it doesn't it was screwed right let's save Find that drive not save sorry this is going a bit weird guys so Stick with me, we're almost there. I think, I hope. Use crowbar on mechanism. Could not see a mechanism. Now we're getting somewhere. 
because that is the error at the end of our piece of code. Use crowbar on mechanism. I jammed the crowbar into the mechanism and pushed. It's working. We've done it. We're so close to finishing the game, guys. Yes, now we've, now it's working. <sighs> Exam mechanism. Could not see a mechanism. We all right with that. Messages on computers. Exam computer. Could not see a computer. Right. We are so so close. And all it was was the fact that we'd forgotten that we hadn't taken the use command off the front of the string. <laughs> oh. Oh, guys, feels so good to solve a problem, man. Feels so good to have finished that. All right, I'm going to have a little bit of ice cream before we move on. So. Exam computer. The computer was in perfect working order. An emergency warning message was flashing on the screen, saying, Warning! Incoming asteroid! Engage maneuvering thrusters immediately. But we need to change that because we have a we need to have a flag check on that. So it gives a different uh, message, uh, basically giving an all clear if the uh, flag for the maneuvering thrusters being engaged is set. And uh, yeah, load. Let's load our test file again. South, east, north, engage thrusters. Thruster error check mechanism. That's what we need to do now. Crowbar on mechanism. Engage thrusters. Engage the thrusters. The station rumbled. So it's all working. We need to set, to add in some checks. N three. So we need the examine code first. Where's the examine code? One zero zero five zero. List one zero zero five zero to. Uh, as I go up to one zero one two zero. Almost out of space on the exam and code, aren't we? Yeah. One zero one zero seven. If B string equals computer and current room percent equals 19 and flag percent 10 equals 0 then print computer showed a warning stating Thruster error check mechanism. Go to three one eight zero else. You was going to say that. Right, so we're just going to add in a few extras uh, here and there wherever we can in this uh, code. We're, we haven't got much space left <laughs> in the listing. Uh, one zero one zero 
8. Most of this is the same. Max 10 equals 1. Then print a computer. Displayed and all clear message. Go to 3180. Edit uh, 10109. If B string equals and current room sent equals 19 and flags percent 11 equals 0 then print the thruster turning mechanism was jammed it would need some help to get moving Go to 3180 else. Right, we now need to find some space to put the rest in. <laughs> oh man, we're running out of space. 10050 to 10100. Right, we've got some space. Yeah. Not an awful lot. 100. And one. I'll keep going. Right, we could put it in at uh, 10095. 10095 if B string equals mechanism and current room percent equals 19 and flags percent 10 equals 1, then print. mechanism was still the mechanism seemed to be working just fine now go to 3180 else so we've got that in we need a computer message though don't we where is the me the computer message for start because we've already got that for when we're checking the computer in the main room, aren't we? So there's the computer message for when we're in room 4. We need the room 18 computer message now, so let's have a look and find that. I know it's there. There it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, excellent. We've already got the all clear message in because we've just done it. No, that's for computer 9... Them. Where is it? Where's the extra examine code? Is that... Where, oh, that's what we jumped to. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it... I think that's where we jumped to. That's why it asked for, to jump to... Yeah, I've got my notes. More examine code. We could have added in the code over there. Then Never mind. We've done it now. Uh, Where is it? 13,000 or something like that. So let's just keep scrolling through until we find it. Oh my goodness, guys. So close and yet so far. Hopefully we've already done this already. Come on, come on. Let's scroll through, scroll through, scroll through. Oh, so much code and so little time. 10 past 10 already. Let's hope we can get finished soon. Right, here we are. Okay, if B string equals computer and current room is 13. No, that's the wrong one. Got a lot of computers on the space station. 
Okay, if B string is computer and current run percentage equals 18, then print the computer was in perfect working order and emergency warning. Ah! Edit 13013. Current run percentage equals 18. And There we are. If flags percent eleven equals zero, then <laughs> we can't add any more in. Of course we can't. So we have an issue here. So let's check this out. Flags percent 11. I've got that wrong. Equals 0. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah. Edit one three zero one four else. Take that out. One three zero one five. If B string equals computer and current run is eighteen and flags eleven equals one, then print computer was in perfect working order. No warning messages were visible anymore. It looked like the station was no longer in peril. Go to 3180 else. Save episode. There we are. Okay. File drives DF not save. <clears throat> okay. Now we're getting somewhere. We still need to examine the terminal. Just realized we need to examine the terminal because I have a feeling that we need to add in an extra check on that as well. So where is the exam code again? 13,000 for the terminal, isn't it? I think so. Yes, 13,000 to 16,000. Okay. No. We want the input command 13520. Well, that's just in a moment, so... Uh, we need to change one thing in the input code. There it is. Yeah. Clear. One, three, five, two, five. If flags percent eleven equals zero, then go to one, three, five, three. Zero, else go to one three five three five. One three five three five. No, we don't. We don't need that at all. Because it's the right stuff. That's correct, yeah. No. 
Yeah, it is. Uh, coordinates 10 dash 0 dash 11 dash 00 colon 0 2. Otherwise, we're going to be in the wrong position. And that is wrong. Edit uh, 13525 because that's wrong. We don't want flags. If uh, current room percent equals what is the room transport room 13 yeah otherwise we're in the wrong <laughs> position right now we're okay right so list input command code 13520 one three five two zero two one three six zero zero. Okay. Okay, now we need to change one other thing. Uh, Twenty-seven. We've already. Done. Why is flag nine zero? What's flag nine? Game solved. Oh. Yeah, we haven't done that. Yeah, we are so close. PCM retro game it was so so close. Right, so, so we've got a flag nine already. So, um, right, okay, we need to change something else. Where are we? En the engage thrusters command. Where did we put the en engage code? We need to set flag nine to uh, to one one three six zero zero to fifteen thousand. Edit one. Three six three zero. Flags eleven equals one. Flags percent nine. Oh, for goodness sake. Nine equals one. Save episode one. Print free memory. 4918. We have hardly any space left. This is going to fill the memory. Oh my goodness. Hi, Mick Smith. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Right, did we just save? Did I just, I'll just save anyway? Just be careful. Okay, guys. We are so close to finishing this. So close. Right, load. Test. Let me <laughs> Ah, so close, man. Right, we've run out of memory again, so we need to solve this. We need to solve this. Well, for start, uh, clear. Edit five. We didn't need uh, 12 flags in the end, we needed 11. So we can change that. Oh my goodness. Uh, right. We're going to do some extra stuff now. We're going to take out flag number entirely. Edit five. We're getting rid of flag num entirely because now we know how many flags we need. So I can get rid of that. There are only eleven. Getting so close. So now we need flag num percent. We need to find out how many of those there are. Flag num percent. Let's check the code again. Okay. 
one one two five zero. We need to go to that line. Make this a bit nicer. Edit one one two five zero to flag num. Well, we already know that that is eleven now because we're not adding in any more. Edit one 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 four zero. Flag num there is eleven because we're not adding any more in. This will mean that we cannot use our save game anymore. So we'll have to retry the entire game, but we can get by that. That's not a problem. Okay, uh, how many more? Line five, we're already done. 2,500. Save that. Zero. Already done one 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 four zero, haven't we? Yes. Okay, save episode one. That should save us a fair amount of memory, actually. I would hope, because now we don't have a, an extra variable to keep track of for the entire game. So save that. Oh my goodness! No wonder we're running out of memory. 37k for episode one. So we've just saved. And just to make sure, I'm going to save again there on the hard drive. Giving a three fingered salute. Run episode one. Oh my goodness, it takes so long to load in now. Start. All right. Well, the game is running. So, let's move this back over here so I can see the see the chat just in case anything comes up. Boom, says Mickey. Yeah. Let's hope this works. Uh, get multi tool. Get core up east out southwest search wreckage east use multi tool on wires use crow bar on hatch use multi tool on wires East, down, get, junk, drop, junk, put, core, in, housing, go up, south, east, get, box, put up a box, north, north again, exam, uh, computer. Exam circuit. We can still take out that circuit diagram. We don't actually need it. Uh, we could change that to a description instead. Uh, let's have a look at get burned resistor from circuit. So we do have some memory that we can play with. Get charred resistor from circuit. Get Fried resistor from circuit. Drop burned resistor. Drop fried resistor. Drop charred resistor. Exam box. Get, uh, let's have a blue uh, resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. In position A, get green resistor from Bob. No, that's not going to work. And we also need a T on get, otherwise it won't work. Mox, put a green resistor in circuit. In position C, get yellow resistor from B. 
box. Put yellow resistor in the second. Uh, position B. It's all the same. Save. Uh, it's file name test. Memory full. Oh dear. We still have problems. Hi Novabug. You've come in near the end. Uh, and Patrick, I agree. The circuit diagram is a nice touch. However, we are now running out of memory. So. We need to save space somewhere. So, if we're going to save the circuit diagram, which is what Patrick's suggesting, and to be honest with you, I agree, we need to find some memory elsewhere because we don't have any left. All my tricks have got us this far, but we need... We need extra memory. We need extra space. So, I suggest we have a look at uh, the room descriptions now. We're going to have to kill some of the room descriptions. Do we need all of these descriptions? Let's have a look. Uh, pen 3. Clear for a start. Clear the memory. Uh, list. So let's go through the room descriptions. We don't need all of them. Uh, the desert ones for a start. I don't know if we need all of the, those. So we're looking at uh, rooms... Let's clear the uh, second paragraph on five and rooms five, six, and seven if we can. That's one, two, three. That's the airlock. That's only got one anyway. Four. Yeah. Okay. Let's take out uh, line three hundred and eighty. Four hundred and four hundred and twenty. Edit three hundred and eighty. In fact, just three hundred and eighty should be uh, data blank. Four hundred should be data blank, and four hundred and twenty should be data blank. Okay, that should save some space, episode one. That should save us enough space because we've taken out large chunks of memory that don't have to be stored in variables now. Not something I enjoy doing, I have to admit, but needs must at this point. We need to get this finished today. And also, we need the memory. We haven't got the space. So let's start again. Okay, so it's running so far, that's good. Get multi tool, get core, save. File name is test. Memory for why? Why? We should be all right now. Print free memory. How much? Oh my goodness, we're under 4K. It hasn't worked. Wow, it hasn't worked. Control shift escape. Run. Episode one. Let's hope that this works. Maybe it wasn't clear in the memory entirely. Start. Save. Test. Memory full. Print free memory. How much? Yeah, we haven't got enough. We're under 4K left. We need a bit more. Oh my goodness. My goodness, we can't even run the disk. We can't even run the disk catalog. We are that close to having no memory. Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've got uh, one and a half K of uh, data. What, what can we cut? What else can we cut since it's not... Philbin Video says, uh, if you haven't for the out in Bolton, the, the escape. I do know about the escape room in Bolton. Uh, at the moment, we just don't have any time. <laughs> I've had to basically make time in my schedule to do this on a night. 
on a Sunday night, otherwise it would never happen. Um, that uh, I'm hard pressed for time. But thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip, Philbin. I am aware of it, and at some point we'll go. Um, we have a big, big problem here. This isn't working out. What if we took out the number of rooms? What if we took out the variable for rooms? How many times do we use the variable? Uh, we've got, we check for the flag number variable. Um, room percent, how many times do we use that? 112 times. No, I just. Some of them are current room. If we take out all the references to current room, that comes down significantly. What if we just check for that? We don't use room percent. We can take out another variable. Then we, guys, we might be able to do this. Patrick, you're right. We might end up cutting down the uh, size of the uh, room descriptions. You might be right there. But I think we have a way of doing this. Pen three. Edit five. We don't need room, room thing there. Room percent. If we already know that there are only 27 rooms, because we're so close to the end of the game, we don't need to know we don't we don't need a variable for it so we take out that and go to edit 270 run percent we can take down to just typing in 27 edit 280 27 again so let's keep going let's keep finding run percent current run current Current run, current run, current run. I'm just going to quickly run through all of the uh, code now. I'm checking it on my screen for where it's on about current run as opposed to run. I hope we don't end up by, going by byte by byte to change current run to something else that's shorter so that we don't use those bytes. But if we do, we do. That's... Uh, I'm prepared to do that if it gets the game running. I have a feeling the only other time this comes up is in, uh, yep, the save code, in the load code. So, line 1120, one, 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 two, edit 11120, t equals 1 to 27, edit 11150. No, that's current run. Edit one one two three zero to twenty seven. Yeah, we've done it. That's the only, uh, that's the only chance that current, current room comes up. I really wish Java CPC wouldn't keep doing that and shrinking. Okay. Save. So we just saved. Remove some of your REM lines. Nova Bug, you're right there. We'll be doing that at some point if we need to. So. We just saved that. Control Shift Escape. Run. How, how big is the file now? That can't have changed much in terms of file size, but it will have changed something in memory size. Run episode one. Start the game. Save. Test. Memory. No. Ah. 
Right, we're doing what Nova Bug said. We're taking out the, the RAM commands. Okay. Delete one to four, because that's just the... Uh, String space full, clear. Delete one to four. Okay, that's bad. I've just deleted line 104. Load <laughs> episode one. That's that's why I don't do the delete command. <laughs> Load episode one again. Okay, list. List 104. Wait, do you actually need one, two, three. Four. Yeah, well, if uh, go to does go to that, we'll find out in a moment. Okay. Now let's go back to this. Okay, let's find every line that has a rem in it. Ten has one, so we can take that out. Oh, for goodness sake, why is my mouse not working? Everything's breaking tonight. Where's my... the. The batteries in my mouse are new. What's going on here? What's wrong with my mouse? Oh, they were out. The, the, the batteries are out of line. That's why. Don't you just hate it when that happens? No, don't load. Did I press buttons while I was... Oh. Right. 150 has a RAM command. Yeah, 150 has a RAM command. We don't need to know about my uh, emulators there. 150. Take that out. Patrick says, that's why we use wired equipment. Yeah, well, I'm on a Mac. I don't have wired stuff. <laughs> uh, 215, I think we've already taken out. Yeah. 250. Uh, PCM Retro Gamer says, can't you adjust your code using the text editor you had up? Yes, I could, but the problem with the text editor is I used a line printer to get all of the code out, which means that it's got uh, encard encoded carriage returns, which means that I would have to adjust every single part of the program. It would be quicker, kind of. Patrick saying we can always have a separate program for instructions. That's a good point as well. So, yeah, if we take out 150 to 210. That's just instructions. 150 to 210. Okay, now we need to take that line out as well, don't we? Uh, edit line 100. Take out the bit where it's saying where we can press I for instructions. I apologise if this if the live stream goes a bit weird because Steam is still trying to load because I accidentally pressed it while making the mouse work. Remove line 130. Save episode one. Catalog. Z1 is now back to 36k. So if we save that, hopefully this will work. 
yeah. He's, Patrick, I'll, it's all right, don't worry. I will put the uh, instructions file into uh into the into the loading screen we'll have uh the thanks page and then it'll bring press a space and bring up the instructions then it'll load the game that's fine we can work that out okay um yeah okay so we're doing okay now print free memory how big is the yeah we just saved yes control shift escape run episode one S to start or L to load a save game. Start. Mine does not exist in 120. Edit 120. Go to 250. List 240 to 260. What was 250? Okay. So if we edit 120 to go to 265, that will work. Save episode one. Okay, Steam is, yeah, Steam is trying to uh, load up. So if we just delete and close that down. Right, print free space. Yeah, we're doing okay now. Right, we saved episode one, run. Start. Save. Test. Yes! Guys! We might be able to make it. We might be able to do this. So, down. Get multi tool. Get core. Up. East. Uh, PCM Retro Gamer says seems to have loaded a bit quicker then. Yes, this, because now it's not having to process as much because we we have fewer variables. It's all working out. <sighs> Guys, this might work. Search wreckage. East. Use multi tool on wires. West. Use multi tool on. No, we don't use the multi-tool crowbar on hatch. I'm going to have to do the bloody resistors again. <sighs> use multi-tool on wires. Prepare the wires. Down. Get junk. Drop junk. Put core in housing. Yes, up. South. East. Get box. North. West. North. Exam circuit. Get burned resistor from circuit. Get charred resistor from uh, circuit. Get fried resistor from circuit. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Get green resistor from from box. Put green resistor in circuit. C. Drop fried resistor. We don't need it. Drop charred resistor. We don't need it. Drop burned resistor. Inventory, what we carry in. Multi tool crowbar and a cardboard box. Drop box, we don't need the box. Save. It's still working. Exam computer. 
exam message. That's where we get the uh, coordinates from. South. South exam computer input. I could ten dash zero dash eleven dash zero zero colon zero two. What? That was weird. Okay, the terminal has a problem. That's, uh, well, I need to check that out. We'll sort that out in a moment. Okay, in. We're in the transporter room. Exam computer. Warning, incoming asteroid. Engage maneuvering thrusters. Still don't have that. I could not see our computer. We need to sort that out. But we're getting somewhere. East. North. Engage thrusters. Exam mechanism. Plus, the turning mechanism was jammed, it would need some help. Use crowbar on mechanism. Jam the crowbar into the mechanism, push down. Engage thrusters. Helps if I spell it right. Engage the thrusters. Exam computer. Displayed no clear message. Exam computer. Looked like the station was no longer in peril. Exam computer. Could not see a computer. Well, you can because it's there. Exam terminal. Could not see a terminal. You can because it's there. Input. Terminal. Right. We're going to 10. No. We're going to 11. Dash twenty three dash sixty five dash thirty six colon five three in I was in the control room of my ship. All the indicator lights signaled that I was clear to take off safely. All I needed to do was flick the takeoff switch and head home. Flick switch. Take off. But we haven't put that bit in. Right, we have very, very little memory left. Print free memory. Yeah, 775 bytes of, <laughs> of free space left. 775. It's no wonder we couldn't save before. 775 bytes. Right, we need to save space because we can't finish the game unless we do this. Okay. Clear. We need to uh, flick switch or take off. And that is the final thing that we need to do, but we need to have the... Yeah. So let's put that in first, and then we'll try and work out the, the way we can save uh, space to make it work afterward. First of all, actually, we're going to save some space by working out why the... Why the I could not see a computer thing comes up, Patrick? We can't have we can't remove the title screen. We can remove the title screen. Yeah, we don't we don't need a menu, do we? Oh, that would that would help a lot. Yes, list one to two hundred. Uh, we 
we can delete delete 60 to 140. Yeah, we, we can do this. Save episode. No, we'll not, not save yet. Um, list from 3180 to 4000. We need to add in one small thing. Three four two zero. If a string equals flick switch or a string equals press switch or a string equals take off, then go to one three eight zero zero. else. List 13800. 13800. If current room percent equals 27, which is the uh, final room. No, if Give me one second. The current room If current room is less than four, then print I could not take. No. If current room equals greater than 27, then print I could not see a switch to press. I could not take off yet. I had to solve the problem here. Problem on the planet. Go to 3180. Else. Print. I flicked the switch and the engines began to roar. Soon, soon my ship was back in Orbit. One three eight one zero print. I tapped in the coordinates to head back to spaceport and settled into my seat for the journey. One three eight two zero print print the end. Save episode one. Big it is. Thirty six K again. So hopefully this will be alright. Wild drives, DF not Save. Oh my goodness guys. I think we may have done it. Run. <sighs> Load. Test. Okay, south, south, input. I've got to type in the coordinates again. 10, dash, 0, dash, 11, dash, 0, 0, colon, 0, 2. We need to sort that out because it's asking twice. 10, dash, 0, dash, 11, dash, 0, 0, colon, 0, 2. In. 
north, east, north. Use crow bar on mechanism. Engage thrusters. South. West. Uh, PCM Retro Gamer says, I create a separate load for a title screen, then lead into game. Can that be done? Yes, we're going to do that. South. Input. 11 dash 23 dash 65 dash 36 colon 53. In. In the control room of my ship. Take off. Done it. It all works. We can... <sighs> One three eight zero zero two. I don't know. Fifteen thousand. One three eight two zero. Print. Print. The end. Print. 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 <laughs> Clear. I just want to have a bit of a space between the end and ready. Let's hope that works. Edit one, three, eight, two, zero. Good idea. Good idea, Patrick. Print, print, and then print. Press any key to play again. Call and BB18. Ampersand even BB. One eight, go to ten. List one to ten. Yeah. Edit uh, one three eight two zero, go to forty. Nova Bug and say, now add a memory dump and a nice rendered image of the Nova Bug logo. No, thank you, Nova Bug. We're not going to quite go down that route. List 13800 to 14000. Run 13820. The end. Press any key to play again. Let it edit to 270. What's wrong with 270? No, it's fine. Right, save episode one. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, my goodness. Right, what we need to do now is file drives, DF0. Uh, save. Run. Quick check that it all works. Load, test. So we're in the. We just fixed the computer core in this uh, test. So we go south. South. Input. We still need to change the input thing because it's going to ask us twice. Ten dash zero dash eleven dash zero zero colon zero two. Ten dash zero dash eleven dash zero zero colon zero two. In. North, east, north, use crow bar on mechanism, engage thrusters. It's a very simple game when you write it all down. Yeah, there's still a problem with computer terminal PCM retro. We'll get there in the end. Input 11-23-65-36-0. Five, three. If anyone's wondering where those coordinates come from, they've been shown. So, we should be okay. Flick. Switch. Press any key to play again. Bumph. 
all works. Pen three. So we need to look at the input code, which is one three five two zero to six one three six zero zero, because that's where it all ends. So. Edit 13530, just need to go to on the end of this, 13540, string space 4 clear. Yeah, Patrick, you're, you're pretty much right then. Edit 13530, go to 13540. And that should do it. Yeah, it's still 36k. My goodness, so close now, so close to the end. Oh my goodness. We need the 13535, one, three, uh, Patrick, because it has the different coordinates on for when we're coming back. So we need that, otherwise it looks weird. Okay, this should work. Quick test. <laughs> 10 dash 0 dash 11 dash 00, zero colon zero 02. There we are. It's all working. It's fine. Everything's working, guys. So, we'd save this now. Save. Control Shift Escape. Cut log. Right. Uh, we need 10. Hang on. Where's the instructions gone? Where are the instructions? Here they are. Paste, paste instructions in. Okay, that's the instructions written. written. Uh, load disk list five edit paste. Yeah, I need them five. We need to put them in as well on here and list. Edit 230, run instruct.bass, save disk, load instruct, because I forgot one thing on the instruct. One hundred ninety, delete. 192, 210. 190, run episode 1.bass. Instruct. Right. Delete all the backup files. Test.start. Delete all of those. Erase. 
Falcon.bass. This construction in episode one. File drives save. Run disk. There's the thanks page. Here are the instructions. And here's the game. And just to make sure it all works, let's save. Test. And it does. Well, wow. yep. Yeah. Load. Test. It's all working, guys. I am so, so happy. <laughs> Nice test dot because we don't want the save game. Guys, we're done. We're done. We've written the game live on air. Oh man, I am so happy. I mean, it's not the best game ever. It's actually quite... Uh, rudimentary when we go down to it and there's hard and once you know what to do there's hardly any commands that are needed but we've done it oh my goodness so i need to uh close this down now we have saved it I'll just make sure that we have again saved it to the hard drive again it's all there Oh my goodness. So we'll close that down and uh, I'll come back up on screen. Guys, this has been amazing. What can I say? So I'm going to, as always, make it available. I suppose now that your code is done, you can create part two easily using it, says PCM Retro Gamer. Yes, PCM. However, just to uh, change things up, next week we won't be writing episode two. We will be doing a 3D game using 3D construction kit. And then once that's done, We'll come back and we'll do episode two. But just to make things a bit different, we're not going to code that one in basic. We've just done a game in basic. I think we might try episode two in graphic adventure creator, just to make things a bit, a bit fun. So let's uh, now make this available to you all. Where is it? Where Where is the document? Arbiter1.disk. Uh, compress arbiter1.disk. Right, just going to make this uh, available to you all. I've got to move things around. My mouse is really playing up today. Oh my goodness, uh, where is it? Arbiter game. Okay. That is now uploading to Dropbox. <laughs> Novabug says he always ran out of memory. Oh my goodness, my chair is creaky. He always ran out of memory in Gra Graphic Adventure Creator. You and me both, uh, a lot of the time, Novabug. I drew too many pictures. That's my, That was my problem. Right, copy Dropbox link. Uh, guys, I'm putting it into here. There you are. The Arbiter Episode 1. Full game. Do with it as you wish. It's free to use, free to distribute, free to faff about with and change. Make your own games based on it. That's that's fine too. Hi Riaz. Uh, yes, a bit late to the party. We've just finished coding the game. Ah, uh, yeah. It's all done. The game's there. So, I made it available now in the chat. So uh, I'll make it a layout. If you want to run the game. I'll make it available via my website and uh, CPC Wiki. <sighs> it's all done. I'll also put it on. I'll put a link on the Game Hammer website. That's GameHammer.co.uk. I hope. <laughs> I better quickly. It is GameHammer.co.uk, isn't it? Yes, it is. GameHammer.co.uk. It better be a sequel to Jewels of Babylon. You know what, Riaz? I need to play Jewels of Babylon. It looks brilliant, but. I've only ever played a few minutes of it to test it and to get a basic idea of how it played. 
I've never done a full game of it. I'm going to have to do that. But guys, it might be episode 10 that we've just done. But we have... It's, wow, it's about 20, maybe 30, 25 hours at most of live coding. We've cr created a game from scratch in 25 hours. That's pretty good going, I think you can agree. A day, just over a day of code. I feel so happy to have this work. And I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. So that's it. That's all we've got for tonight. So thank you so much for hanging around and for helping out with this. I've really appreciated your company. I've really appreciated all the support and the advice and the help that you've given. It's all done, guys. I'll see you next week where we start on 3D Construction Kit. Take care. Thanks for coming along, guys. Bye. <laughs> PCM Retro says it's been a great series. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm really happy. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.